Welcome back everyone to some more F1 22 manager manager 2022 that is um yes we're back with the Alpine safe um Emilia Romagna Imola this time uh we got an email that requires attention right now uh boardroom refreshment complete yeah their confidence is high we got a regulation update here uh airflow oh option b airflow focus changes or cooling focus changes um I guess cooling, it doesn't really matter, I think. So we're going to go for cooling. But today we are going to try and push this car further up the grid. we got 10 mil in the bank right now. But I think I want to save some more so that we can get some upgrades. And hopefully we can get another win after the last one where we did secure victory as the weather started to cause problems for all other teams with strategy. So let's see what happens here today. We got an upgrade point for Shaw Leclerc. His braking is optimal. Cornering up, uh, please. And let me see if Gazi has one nope and doing yes he does let's go to smoothness hope you guys are enjoying the video if you are there are a couple things you can do to support the channel first off press that like button and subscribe make sure you subscribe by pressing the red button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as i upload next thank you guys so much for your support hope you enjoyed the rest of the video not bad of a starting point p2 and p5 there was a bit of rain of course so all these dry runs were it essentially to put our names on the leaderboard but yeah right behind carlos Science not too bad. Car is not performing too badly out here. Oh, Verstappen crashed. What Hello. Now, what happened to Verstappen here? Verstappen. Wow. Okay, so it's a lockup around that yeah, hairpin like turn. Ouch. That's some broken pieces. Oh, there's been a crash involving multiple cars here. Oh no, it's the Alfa Romeos hitting each other. Oh no, did they punt each other off? Yep. Rear ended each other. Ooh. Verstappen Ricardo flashbacks around Baku 2018, I believe. E, not good. Oh, there's been multiple cars crash yet again. This is quite an interesting revelation. VSC deployed, VSC deployed. Well, we're just stopped on track. Hold on, what's happening here? What's happening here? There's just a traffic jam right in front of us. Let's see. What just happened? I think we just arrived at the scene of the crash here. Wow, look at that sunset. Oh, they've been rear-ended. Oi. That's a penalty for whoever it is. Bottas? No, he's still going. Norris? He's still going. I think Bottas, maybe. Let me see. Is his front wing gone? No, not really. What about Norris? Yeah, Norris probably has a penalty from that. Oh, no. There's been a crash. Hold on. But also Leclerc seems to have crashed. Oh, no. Did he take out Leclerc? He may have taken out Leclerc. Oh. That's a big smash. They'll have felt that. Ouch. So Leclerc ran wide, front ended or just smashed his wing into Bottas or sorry, Russell, I believe. Ah, oh, we got a time penalty of zero seconds. Thank you very much. <laughs> nah, it's going to be a time penalty of five seconds, I think. That's a shame. We got to call Leclerc back in then. Uh, Gasly can keep doing his laps, I think. We should be fine. Uh, underfloor damage as well. Are you kidding me? Oi. Front wing and underfloor. All right. I think I do have some spare parts. I haven't really... Hold on. Why? Oh, no. This is the pit lane, isn't it? Okay. Copy. Yep. Okay. We're fine. Leclerc has underbody damage. We'll deal with it. Not making as much of a progress as I would like. Lando Norris taking penalty. Esteban Ocon taking penalty. Leclerc taking a penalty after a series of crashes in that session. Uh, Gasly and Leclerc just struggling to get that set up. But hopefully FP3 will be the golden time to get those. We're very close. 92-95%. So let's see if we can pip it into that optimal range. Yes, optimal. Fantastic. Let's go. I wonder if that's 100% or if it's a 97+. plus. Let's see. Come on, 100%, let's go. That is an optimal setup for Gasly. We found it. Thank you very much. Now it's time for Leclerc. Ooh, there's been a crash. Hold on, Gasly's fine, Leclerc is fine. That's good. Oh, there's a... Uh... Oh, Bottas is out, actually. I think I was looking at the pit lane there. Valtteri Bottas. What happened here? Okay, he just went on. Exact same crash for all the crashes we've had so far this session. All right, that's the end of the session. Leclerc P4 with a penalty, Gasly P8, and yeah, no other new news. Other than that, uh, Leclerc is struggling a little, 96%. Hmm, 
Let me see if I can adjust. Uh, he has a three position grip penalty. I know that. Let's see if we can adjust this setup and then head into qualifying. All right, here we go then. First lap, I also included a brand new engine, fresh engine in the car here. As you can see, 100% or just about. We go 113.7 with Gasly. Leclerc, let's take a look at you here. Um, just a little bit slower, so I guess his set of confidence isn't going to be an optimal one, but it's nonetheless a good one. We also got held up by Vettel, who is currently doing a push lap, I believe, so we'll take a look and see what happens in the uh, Garish. Yeah, we're in the optimal range. It's 97%, so not 100%, but we're close, I think. Close enough. With just one lap completed, we do make it into the next round. P6 for Gasly, P13 for Leclerc. Of course, this was a compromised lap, so it's not really representative of Leclerc's pace. Iwasa, Albon, Schumacher, Stroll, and Latifi are out. Let's move on to the next round. We got a clean lap this time on the used soft from Q1. So hopefully this will give us a good lap result. Gazi P13 or P1 with a 113.8. Four thousandths faster is Leclerc. So his talent is pretty much bridging the gap in confidence in the setup. So this is looking good. Uh, solid laps. Let's see if we can maintain a decent top 10 position here so that we make it into key three all right solid work there one lap and done p6 p7 for our two drivers here george russell gets the fastest lap of the session uh knocked out are sunoda Ocon, vettel joe and ricardo so final round then this is all that matters let's see how well we perform here all right starting off our session here with the very worn sauce from q1 and q2 we did get impeded by magnuson so our time isn't going to be representative of our pace wow gasly two seconds held up essentially by magnuson the clerk goes a little faster but this is not representative of our true pace so let's put on some fresh softs and see how fast we really are all right here we go then everyone on a clean lap i sent gasly out a tad bit earlier 113.7 or so p4 right now let's see how leclerc does he's coming around the final two corners here let's see Oh, he is improving, which is a great sign. P4 for Gasly for now. Let's see if we can get closer to the top five. Yep, a P4 for Leclerc. So it's a P4, P5 starting position. Not bad, considering we are a bit lower than the middle of the field right now with the car performance. So this is actually a pretty decent position to be in. I, I like this. And just like that, P4, P5 starting position. But of course, Leclerc is going to have that penalty, bring him down to P7. So he's going to be behind Piastri and Perez, the two Ferraris. But hey, I think I'll take it. This has been a very solid start for us. Hopefully, we can convert this into another podium finish. The time has come to fight it out. It's race day. We didn't see any unexpected prowess from Alpine during qualifying, but they did well for themselves. Everything's still open to them for the race. We saw a solid qualifying performance from Ferrari, and they're sure to have their chance to push even further during the race. And the sun is shining bright here today. This is perfect weather for teams and drivers alike to show us what they're capable of. And seeing it all come together is sure to be a thrill. An exciting race ahead for us here at the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. All right, then let's see. Uh, let's take a look and see what is happening in today's race. All right, I think I'm going to keep it relatively simple here. Lap 29, pit for Leclerc. I want him to push on the early stages of the race here because he is starting from P7. He is going to be a little further behind than Gasly. So that's what's going to happen. Push on the mediums and try to make it to the hard stint. It's both a one-stop strategy, of course. And then I want Gasly to maintain his position with the hards at the start and then try to push on the mediums towards the end we'll see if that is a good strategy both should be essentially the same uh time for the whole race so let's see if we can really push with both cars this is time for the race let's go it's sunny and bright as the drivers line up on the grid and there we have pierre gasly with a top 10 position on the grid this race could really go either way for them Leclerc there, down the grid. They might not be in the top three spots, but things could change fast once the race gets underway. The teams are ready to go. 
All right, let's go. This is time for the race. Ooh, this is gonna be exciting. Lights out, and away we go in Emola. Let's go. All right, great start from both cars, I believe. Gasly doing well to stay in P4, gaining some positions here. Leclerc doing well to try and get the Ferrari at the opening stages. I think he might. No, he does not. Slots right behind Piastri. And we continue. Piastri taking a look at Perez, trying to get a move past his teammate. Ooh, it looks like Gasly gained a position on the Mercedes of Russell. Beautiful job trying to push on the Red Bulls here. Duo of Verstappen and Sainz, both on a opposite strat, just like we are. Hards for Verstappen, mediums for Sainz. So we want to try and stay close. We might follow Sainz through here. No, we don't. Sadly, we slot in behind Verstappen here. Leclerc is gaining positions here on the Ferrari. Seems like we're going side by side. Um, into the chicane might be not a good thing but yep he makes the move stick by the looks of it no he does not it's gonna continue on for the rest of the lap here Gasly what is he up to really pushing still slotting in right behind Verstappen the new engine really coming to play here which is great to see staying competitive with everyone else Leclerc slotting in nicely behind Pettis now who is giving him a nice slipstream maybe we can get a move done as we enter lap two down the main straight we go possibly a move could be happening relatively soon we'll keep an eye on here Gasly is following nicely I think I'll just bring him down to standard few uh, tire usage uh, just don't want to you know burn through it too quickly um, but I do want Leclerc to push a little bit not too much though I do want him to at least get p5 and then I drop his tire usage he has a lot of catching up to do to the front of the pack so this is gonna get exciting um, yeah, slotting in nicely behind Perez, so it's not looking too great at this moment, but it looks like we are going to try and go side by side with Perez. Ooh, but he does shut the door quickly. We'll keep an eye on this battle. Oh dear, Leclerc ran wide. Leclerc ran wide. What happened here? Leclerc is struggling. Oh, he did the Hamilton over the uh, sausage curves. Is that okay with the car? He just went over the sausage curves. Seems like the car is in okay shape here. Yep, okay, we're good, we're good. Ooh, there's been a huge crash. Hold on, this might be a safety car deployed. It's just yellow flags for now. Hold the phone. We are looking at a massive crash here. Competitor penalty for Ricardo. Okay, hold on. This is gonna be huge news. Let's take a close look at what happened. Oh, that's a wipeout. Ouch. All right. Well, we continue then. I don't think it's going to be a um, a safety car of any kind. Leclerc is slowly dropping back from the Ferrari. Compromised to the car behind of Piastri. Come on, buddy. Stay close. Perhaps I'll give him a little ERS deployment to try and stay close. Ooh, safety car. Hold the phone. Safety car. It is time to pit Leclerc for the hards. Let's get him on. Uh, also, we need to go conserve on everything and harvest for the first job that we do hold up phone with Gasly now hmm let's take a quick look and see yeah I think I'm gonna keep him out it's still a ways to go until his pit stop so we'll have to just wait it out I think but Leclerc does have the benefit right now to pit had a big crash it's a huge crash apparently an incident safety car safety car competitor retired Bottas is out he's crashed out Let's see what happened with Bottas here. Oh dear, it's a lockup around that corner. Yep, just like the ones we've seen in practice. Ouch. Okay, so it's a safety car. I don't think I can do anything for Gasly here. He needs to stay out. He's on the hards. What is Verstappen going to do? Is he going to stay out or is he going to stay in? I'm curious. I am very curious to see if we can change the strategy a bit. Um, what if we pit now? Hold on. Uh, it's going to be hard to see the mediums out until the end. We are going to get the benefit. Yeah, softs aren't going to do us much good. We're going to be slower if we do a soft stint. Because we're doing a double stop. Um, 
Yeah, the softs aren't going to do us any good, so we're going to stay on this strat. We'll see. But here comes Leclerc into the pits. Never mind, why is he not in the pits? Hello? I told you to pit, buddy. Yo! Why aren't you in the pits? Hello? What the heck just happened there? We got shafted by a glitch. We got shafted by a glitch. Hold on. Okay, well, guess what? Uh, we'll still pit. We'll still pit. I think there's still a benefit to be had pitting now, but we got shafted by a glitch. Screw you, Frontiers, man. Frontier development, just screw you, man. We got totally shafted by a glitch. Oh, this is annoying, man. Well, we're going to keep him out. Yeah, we're, we're going to do it and then keep them out for the rest of the session. Um, oh, this is so annoying. you got to be absolutely kidding me. That was a glitch. That just totally destroyed our chances in the race with Leclerc. We've been totally shafted. Um, Gasly still has a chance, though. This is good. Gasly still has a chance. We would have been up here, man, if we pit... Ah, oh, Frontier, you... You guys are absolute idiots. Can't even make a perfect game. Stupid idiots. Um, we're gonna push in the early stages. Deploy. Also, Leclerc, we need you to push in the early stages. Try to get some positions that Frontier developers just decided to destroy us with. Let's go. This is it. Gasly and Verstappen. Battling it out in the front. Let's see. Come on. Oh, Leclerc got so unlucky with it. Yep. Ah, this is annoying. Very annoying. But, okay, so Gasly's going to try and stay close to the front. We're going to try and push with Leclerc, possibly getting out of position already. Yes, thank you very much. Following... Albon through, who's on the mediums right now. This is awesome work. Come, on. Come on. Frontier developers screwed us. Let's try and make up for it. Okay. Come on. Let's stay Let's stay close and try to push. Oh! Gasly takes the lead. Gasly does take the lead. He's past Verstappen. Okay, this is good. Fantastic news. We're going to try and pull a second gap and then I'm going to drop his deployments a little just so that we can keep a distance. Leclerc up to P16. This is beautiful. Gets Albon as well. Uh, we need to try to get past Ocon. But let's see. This is going to get interesting. This is going to get spicy towards the end. Um, okay, Leclerc, I need you to go down to standard because I can't risk you destroying those tires because he needs to go until the end of the race. Um... Let's drop our ERS deployment as well, just a bit. Gonna start dropping Gasly's deployments as well, just because he is not able to get past a full second ahead of Verstappen. Should we try? Yeah, let's keep trying then. Ooh, there's been another crash. Hold on, there's been another crash. Might be another safety car, perhaps? I don't know. It's a yellow flag for now. Ricardo is out. Now look at this. Ah, uh, he did the exact same thing as Bottas, but I guess he's still running. He's not retired out of the race. Hmm, okay. But we're still good, I think. Yep, we're still good. Alright, moment of truth. We're gonna pit him now for the mediums. We're pitting Gasly. Come on. We're gonna try and get him in alongside Verstappen, or... We're getting the undercut. We're getting the undercut. Let's go. This is good. Let's see. Tires are getting a little warm. How? You're not even pushing. That's strange. He's on the hards as well. Alright, well anyway, we got a 2.5 second stop with Gasly. He's now back of the grid. But I think a lot of these other cars do still need to pit. So we'll see. We will see how this goes. There's been a yellow flag turn or sector three, but we're fine. Okay. This is not looking good for now, but let's see how this race evolves. Ooh, there's been another crash. Hold on. There's been another crash. Is that a safety car deployed? I wonder. Leclerc's up to P6 right now. 
Magnuson crashed. Oh, I see identical crash around this bend here all the time. Wow, idiots. The AIs are idiots, seriously. Uh, broken game and stupid AI. That's the summary of this, man. Summary of this game. All right, here we go. This is coming up to the last lap here. Time to plan things out a little. We're right behind Verstappen. So we need to make sure we try to get these cars past Verstappen here. We are within DRS range, I believe. So it is time to give it our all. Um, let's go attack on the tires. Let's go attack. Let's go. We have time. We got to push. Let's get past Verstappen, please. Nice. Come on, follow suit. Come on. We got him. We got him. Okay, Leclerc's got him. Okay. Got past Verstappen. We need to try and push with Gasly as well. Try to get past Verstappen here. Come on. Ooh, this is tense. We've done brilliantly to come back. I think we could have been on the podium if the game just let me pit during that safety car. Like, what is wrong with the developers? Like, they have poo brains, smooth wrinkles, smooth, you know, small brains there. Like, how can you make that error in the coding? I don't understand. Well, it's ticked me off here. Hopefully, Gasly can push in the final stages. We got to deploy. Got to give it everything. Got to drain the battery now for the final two turns here. Hopefully... Gasly has enough time. I think I may have just done it a little too late. We'll see. Yeah, I think it may have been a little too late for Gasly, but still, I think we've done brilliantly to try to get P5 with Leclerc. Thank you very much. We'll take that, and we'll take a P7. But that was good, I think. Uh, did as good as well as I could have, given the circumstances, um, with the stupid glitch. Uh, Leclerc should have been up here with Sainz and Russell. Um, so I'm a little upset about that. And I mean, I say a little. I'm super upset about that. Could have been huge that points. Um, stolen from us by no Frontier. Thanks, so, we'll that. yeah, that's about it. Um, otherwise, I think we've done okay. The car's in decent shape. We've got some upgrades coming through before the next Grand Prix. So this is, gonna, this is a good look. Um, this is a splendid look at uh, what could happen in the near future. Hopefully it'll go up from here, um, but yeah, pretty happy, pretty happy, um, despite the huge upset of Frontier you screwing us over, yeah, so. This was a decent race from Charles Leclerc. This wasn't bad at all from Alpine. Now the question is, how can they make it better next time? They've displayed some moments of quality here. All they need now is some fine tuning to achieve great things. That's right, and they finished the race weekend in third place in the constructor standings. Coming up next, the teams will be taking a trip to the Sunshine State. The Hard Rock Stadium is laying down the track for a captivating race at the Miami Grand Prix. Okay, then it is time to see how this has changed the standings. Not much, I think. Sergio Perez has won the race ahead of Carlos Sainz and George Russell in third. Piastri, Leclerc, Verstappen, Gasly, Stroll, Vettel, and Joe in the points. Norris, Sonoda, Okonewasa, Albon, Latifi, Schumacher, Magnus, and Ricardo round out the finishers with Bottas crashing out today. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely upset that we didn't get that safety car pit stop in. I don't know why that glitch happened, but we got we got robbed of big points today. Huge, huge robbery witnessed by everyone here on the channel. Over 4,000 of you have witnessed a r absolute robbery. Leclerc is in third in the driver's standing. Slowly closing in on Sergio Perez, I think, but Perez did just gain uh, 15 additional points just this race weekend, so he's pulling away. Uh, but we are going ahead of Carlos Sainz, maybe, but no, he is slowly catching. I just noticed. Whatever. Uh, Gasly now down in ninth, which is not too bad. He's slowly catching up to Bottas, who did not score any points today and Norris, who are identical points here for now. Constructor Sandy Swiss, we're in third. Very nice. Uh, but we're not getting anywhere closer to Ferrari or Red Bull. We really need to find some points somewhere. Um, yeah, as long as Frontier developers just decide to, you know, give us a decent game here. Uh, I don't know. 
Uh, other than that, I think I was in for some points today, but I got robbed. 5.9 mil made. Thank you very much. Goodbye.